<sighs> this is a boring Halloween. Yeah, no kidding. So, uh, you guys want to get the spook on, or are we just going to not? Ooh, hey, everybody, who's ready for spooky season? Yeah, it would be, Fredbear, but, uh, not really a whole lot going on. Oh, that's true. Um, why don't we uh, bring in those uh, pumpkin guys you guys found or whatever? Oh, they told me they were going to a Halloween party. And you let them go? Were they not supposed to? <sighs> we treated them as lesser than us for a reason. What if they just leave, hightail out of here? I you know, I figured I'd at least let them go out on Halloween. It's like their entire theming. <sighs> Note to self, don't let Nightmare Cupcake give orders. Okay, the hierarchy now is me, you five, then Nightmare Cupcake, and then the Jackos. If only somebody would arrive at the door and give us some, you know, festy of opportunities. Hmm, it usually works. Oh, someone's knocking on the window. I'll go get it. It's a little out of the ordinary, but I'm not going to question it. Hello? Ow! <laughs> Ow! What the hell, dude? What the? You. What the? Dragbear? What are you doing here? I have come seeking something from you. Me? <laughs> what do you want with little old me? I ain't got nothing important going on. I desire one thing in life. One thing that leads me forward for the next 18 years. 18 years? Wait, what are you- I desire to create an offspring! Cool title card. Yeah, I hate to break it to you, bud, but uh, my private parts don't work. What? Ew, too much information. Listen, I wasn't talking about it like that. I know you have some smart rabbit fellow that lives with you all. I want him to create a son for me. Huh. What about a daughter? I really don't care. I just want a child. Uh, to call my own. Why don't you just, I don't know, find another woman that isn't me and that private parts actually work? That is something you and I share in common. My private parts don't work either. Oh, cool. Twinsies. I fear this is not something to celebrate. Well, um... I don't know, man. I take your case to him, but normally he doesn't accept this kind of stuff. Probably going about, Oh, this is a waste of time. I am Nightmare Bunny. I have to go build my little trinkets and doodads and doohickeys and stuff. You know, yeah, he probably says something along those lines. Well, tell him that if he doesn't accept my offer or proposal or demand, I will unleash the wrath of a thousand suns upon him. Something, something, death. It would be a lot of that. A lot of very bad death. All right, uh, with that new information on the table, I think I'll take your case to him. Great, thank you. Uh, hey, uh, Nightmare Bonnie, I got some, uh, important news for you. The guy at the window needs to see you. The guy at the window? Who's at the window? Ah, well, you see, he's, uh, right behind... Where'd he go? No, I'm not making things up. He was just here. Huh? What the? He's doing that to the lights. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's for that guy on SpongeBob. I love that guy. No, it was I. Uh, do you know this guy that Mangle was talking about? Yeah. It was I, the monster you fear most. Dreadman. Oh, he didn't turn the lights off with any magical powers or anything. He used our remote. Uh, I definitely did not turn off the lights with your magical stick that turns the lights off. No, that did not happen at all in the slightest. It was me in my... That, that powers. Mm-hmm, <laughs> sure, bud. So, okay, stop beating around the bush. What do you need from me? I'm a very busy man with very busy things to do. Well, you see, Nightmare Bonnie... I have the desire to create offspring! <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, dude, but I I'm not a woman. Unless you're a woman? Oh, not like- th Why do people keep assuming that's what I want to do? 
My private parts don't even work either way. No, I want you to use your science, technology, powers, or whatever the heck you do to make me a child. Uh, nah, I don't feel like it. Just, if you don't, I'm gonna kill you! You know, considering the new information that came into play. Let me think about it. Die or help? Okay, fine, I'll help you. Why did you have to think about it? I'm a calculative man. That's a kind of no-brainer decision, dude. It took me like two seconds to think. I can make that decision instantly, everybody. That means I'm smarter than you. Ah! You were saying? Help me do my thing. All right, fine. Jeez, just come to my lab. I might need a couple of you to come help me. Just like two or three of you follow me. Yes. What are the two or three of you waiting for? Uh, fine. I guess I'll go. Eh, why not? I haven't been in videos in a while, so I'm gonna go too. You two stay here and talk about whatever the heck you do. You ever think about how Fred Bear and Nightmare Freddy sound really similar? Welcome to my laboratory! <laughs> that changes appearances basically every video! Well, let's get this process started. Okay, okay, give me two seconds, sheesh. Uh, let me bring out my laptop. Hmm. Okay, Dreadbear, stand a little to the... Uh, my left, your right. Oh, uh, like right here? Uh, yeah, let me back up just a tad. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, can you, can you like, can you like crouch down just ahead of my camera doesn't get quite, get not get quite all the way up there. What, what is this for? I have to do a 3D scan of your body to make sure your offspring even slightly resembles you. I also have to put you in my systems and stuff. Uh, I don't understand how this makes a child, but sure. Uh, okay, is this good? Uh, yep, should be good. Okay. Hmm. This is very strange. Do you know why we need to be down here? I don't know. Okay. Uh, I'm going to type some commands into the prompt. Uh, somebody go get a rope and somebody else get a DNA sample from Dreadbear. Ooh, I love rope! I'll go get a rope! Uh, how do I get a DNA sample? Just like pluck some fur off of him, man. There should be some scissors around here somewhere. Uh, oh. Here we are. Here you go, Mangle. Oh, thanks. Ow! Man, you're really lucky that was my empty eye socket. Why would you throw scissors? I, I don't know, I just thought you had faster reflexes than that. Ugh. Okay, hold still, buddy. Uh, I don't want to mess this up. Eh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> eh, it should be fine. Hmm, that feels weird. Uh, here you go, Bonnie. Here's a sample of his DNA, which I guess is just like a little fur patch. Thank you, Mangle. I'm going to go place it into the little bucket. <sighs> There we go. <laughs> oh, I got the rope! I got the rope! <laughs> ow, ow! Oh, who's a good doggy? Thank you, Freddy. You are, you are a good doggy. <laughs> Did I get a treat? Uh, I don't have on it many on me, so I uh, know. <laughs> I'm too tired to care. All right, Dreadbear, uh, pop up on this thing. I'm gonna tie you to it. What? Why is this a part of the procedure? Why do I need to be tied down? Oh, uh, if you move around too much, then you know it's not gonna work right. Why don't I just stand still? That's not that hard. Just, just trust me on this one, okay? <sighs> Fine. Ugh, there we go. And you are 100% certain that this is right, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cut the crap, Bonnie. What? Why do you have to tie him down? There's no way just to get him to stay still. It's kind of painful. Like, really painful. Like, excruciatingly painful. Oh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty bad. All right, Dreadbear, this will be really quick and painless. Not sure why you said it like that, but, uh, okay. All right, great. And... Enter. Oh my god, the bunny is that? Yep, all part of the procedure. You couldn't have warned him? Where's the fun? Uh, guys, I don't trust this. Neither do I. 
reach out behind the table. Mm-hmm. Yeah! <laughs> it's alive! It's alive! Again! You good, Bonnie? Uh, I'm okay. <sighs> that was possibly the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. Well, uh, I don't know how to do an ultrasound, but here, lay down. I don't hear a baby. It's in the bucket, you moron. Oh, in the bucket. Wow. Wow. It's a miracle of birth. I don't know if you call this birth, but sure. My son. Daughter. Child. Young one. How do you feel? All right, it's just a baby. It can't really talk. I think I shall name them Frank and Freddy. <laughs> I think they like it. <laughs> Come to Papa, young one. <laughs> They're taking their first steps. This is the happiest day of my life. You can tell by the sound of my voice. Uh, yeah. Congrats, man. Thank you. Now, if you all will excuse me, I'm going to go raise my child in happiness and bliss. Uh, okay, bye! Huh. Now what? Can I have a treat now? <sighs> Let me go get one. Oh, yeah! It's time for me to experience fatherhood for the first time. Frank and Freddy, are you ready to embark on this journey with me? Indeed. Okay, child, are you ready for your first mission? This. Do you see those people over there? Stop doing that. Shut uh. Go attack them! Yes. Huh? Is that Dreadbear? Hey, where are you? Am I having? Am I on the my my drunken thing again? Or is he really really small? Yeah, he is really small. Uh, Dreadbear, how you doing, buddy? As uh, uh, oh no, guys, someone turned Dreadbear into a baby. Why do we care again? I don't know actually. Well, I don't know. Dreadbear never really did anything to us. So I do kind of feel bad. <laughs> Besides, he is kind of cute. There, there, buddy. Come here. <laughs> Howie! Ah! Oh my gosh! Someone get this poor child a tissue. Here you go, buddy. Blow your nose. Is <laughs> it? Oh God! <laughs> Does anyone hear that maniacal laughing in the distance? Uh, hey guys. What? Something tells me that the Dreadbear did not turn into a baby. Ah, uh, uh, yes! Yes! Destroy them with your lightning powers, child. I knew you would fall right into place. I said a daddy. <gasps> His first words. I am such a proud father. What? This is your kid? I thought it was you, but, like, smaller. No, fool. You cannot age backwards and turn into a baby. That's physically impossible. We see a lot of really physically impossible stuff every day. I didn't think it was out of the realm of possibility. Yeah, Golden Freddy, that seems really stupid. Wait, you were the one that first suggested it! 
Come to Papa Frank and Freddy. <laughs> Good job. We shall go out for ice cream tonight. <laughs> well, Jet Bear, I didn't expect you to be a father. Something deep inside my core told me I needed to have some sort of responsibility. Wow, that's awfully thorough. Thank you. And as a responsible parent, I shall protect this child with my life, making sure they never leave my sight or are ever put in harm's way until I can train them to be able to handle the hardships of life as a full-grown adult. Hey, uh, I don't mean to sour the mood. Yes? Where do they go? Uh, 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 Fra Frank and Freddy, um, where are you? Uh, buddy, where'd you go? <gasps> That did not instill confidence. <laughs> uh, how did he get up there? You know what they say, Jeb Bear, the moment they start walking is when you gotta start watching where they walk to. Uh, that's good advice, but I wish I had that sooner. How do you know the first thing about raising a kid? Google. Hey, hey, Frank and Freddy, uh, you might want to get down from there. It's not safe up there with it being very high up in the sky and such. <laughs> this is really cute, but I'm not exactly liking it for my heart! Trevor, <laughs> uh, uh, you want me to go get him? No, I must take responsibility as a parent and get them myself. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hold on, Frank and Freddy, I'm coming! <laughs> Hey, what the fuck are you doing in my house? Get out of my house! Get out of my house! <laughs> Frank and Freddy! Uh, uh, leave that little guy alone! What you gonna do if I don't? Oh, I don't know, something along the lines of this. It's like half your old man. Oh, I'm so sorry I let you wander off and get into danger. I promise that'll never happen again. <laughs> so, um, how do we get down? I, uh, did not think this through. So, now that you're done being the responsible parent, would you like some help getting down? Yes.